I was um, in an interesting conversation. And, um, Why you know, aren't you always? <laughs> a lot of people, they say now, like, um, Kevin Hart is not funny, right? I've heard that a lot. Yeah, you hear that a lot on social media. And you hear that said about a lot of, uh, like, different, whatever, Asian comedians, things like that. And, I, and my take on that is... Aging or Asian? Aging. Okay. I've heard a couple of uh, uh, good Asian uh, comedians. Okay. Uh, Koi. Um, I, I probably said the name wrong. But, um, yes. So, I think c- c- comedy is a lot like rap in the sense of you have these guys, and they they're, when they first hit the scene, they're, they're, they're relating to us, you know, to the demographic, to their audience, because we're on a similar level that, you know, comedians, they're talking about struggling and they're making it funny and, and, and all of that stuff we're going, currently going through. The relatability is so, so, high. So if they have a, a skill level enough to, to make it funny, we're going to it's going to be extremely funny to us because we're going through. It. Yeah, the relatability. Same thing with rap. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of these guys, when they first hitting the scene, you know, they're still they're, they're broke and, and, and they're trying to make it. And it's the relatability is high. Same thing with us and, and the same thing with them. So as they start to, to get into their career, Kevin Hart, his first couple of stand ups were fucking extremely, extremely funny. I was on you know, on the floor laughing and you and you can you can in this indication that they were extremely funny because after those, that's when he exploded. You know what I mean? So it's like it, it's not just me. It was, you know, literally the world. And that's why he became <laughs> number one comedian because of his uh, original uh, uh, stand ups. Now, what happens is it's two things that's happens. Number number one is as is, 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 to my first point. You know, now he's he's fucking rich as hell. Like, you know, it's it's not it's not a lot of relatability, and you can try to to do it, but it's not you you're fucking eating lobster in Peru on a Wednesday <laughs> night. Like, you, like it's, it's just it's, well, that's like Jay Z with the mogul rap. Yeah, like I don't give a damn. Yeah, like it's just I don't give a shit. Right, but but what else can he talk about? Because that's right. what he's that's yeah that's just it. Like yeah. you know what I mean. And you're in a weird spot because I you know I I, I don't know if I still want to hear Kevin Hart make jokes about eating oodles and noodles and shit or whatever. <laughs> but um uh you know so that's he he has to make he, and, and another thing is Kevin Hart is an experiences family type of comedian. Even every comedian has their lane. And that's even worse because he 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 he's he only he's only talking about what he's going through and what his family is going through. But that's always like that authenticity, and 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 authenticity connects to relatability. Yeah, and that's the most powerful thing you can have. Whether it's hip hop, whether it's comedy, like you come across as authentic. You live this life. You talk about it. It's funny. I had an old boss. He um he kind of like got into stand-up comedy. He took lessons. He did this stuff. And, and I'm going to say this. He's he's a heavy, generically unattractive Jewish guy who's married with kids. That is literally five connecting points of comedy mm-hmm. that you could just go a lot of places. Mm-hmm. When I was still working there, he had a comedy gig, and he invited us all to go to it. So, you know, we're employees. We show up. And he did a routine that did not touch on any of those five things. Mm. And it just was so just irrelevant because you know you have all these little things that you could go to that are rich sources of comedy. He chose none of them. And he stood up there and told these jokes that, that any jackass in the crowd could have told. Yeah. And it meant nothing. But when you go up and you are something and you give that, then you have a real chance to relate. You do, but that, that now there are comedians that do not, you know, talk about themselves and their family. Yeah, and it works for them if, yeah. if they're extremely funny. They could talk about things that's going on. They could, they, they you know, you have uh, politics, com- you know, political comedians. Yeah, you, you know, you have you know whatever's going on, trending topics and things like that. You have those type of comedians. And you even have comedians that does those those little short jokes, not knock knocks, but you know what I mean. They, 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 you know those type of jokes. But and 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 in that conversation I had, they were comparing Kevin Hart to like a Dave Chappelle. And the thing with Dave Chappelle is it's kind of opposite. Dave Chappelle, when he first came out, he 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 really wasn't funny. You know, it, you know his first special was like killing him softly and killing him softly. 
it, it's not that he was a bad comedian or wasn't funny at all. He just he was nowhere near the level of 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 of, of a comic that he is now, right? And it, and and it's because his styles his style is completely different. His best joke from way back then was a, a baby buying crack on the corner, right? And, you know, this is whatever, 18 to 20-something-year-old Dave Chappelle. He's very young. And that was his best joke. Now he's more in the he's more in the, the, the political frame. Social commentary. Social commentary. And, and, and I was it's not say, even – it doesn't even come off as jokey jokes. I was going to say when you, when you were comparing that, like I did not watch a lot of Dave Chappelle early in his career. Yeah. I don't know that body of work that well. I have watched the last couple of specials he's done. And what he, he is, it is – Deep, cutting social commentary laced with humor. Yes, and and it's it's a different animal. It's a different animal. You don't tune into one of those Dave Chappelle things expecting to laugh every you know minute and a half. No, you're not gonna do it. Like he goes to some dark places, and and but he has a wonder. I mean, he's developed a wonderful way yeah. of, of kind of turning something, and it hits you. Sometimes it hits you comedically, but sometimes it hits your soul. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it's not a laugh. It yeah. it just makes you think. He's in a he's in a yeah he, he, he he's in a unique hemisphere and he's killing it. Um, but what I going back to Kevin Hart though, and and even just evaluating like, is Kevin Hart funny? It's you know like what is funny? Is are you defined by your stand up? Are you defined by your comedic movies? That's a, that's the, that's another layer. Are you defined just by being like a guy that's just whenever he gets in front of a microphone is just kind of funny? Yeah, I, I find now, Jamie Fox hysterical, and a lot of that is his storytelling. Yeah, Jamie Jamie is is I just I like to just use talented man. Oh, he's super. Of I mean, he's, he's one funny. of the most talented people in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he is funny, you know. So. They are, you know, they're talking about his movies as well, right? Especially more recently because he has this Netflix deal, Netflix deal, and they're like, in the, so they're churning out these movies to complete that deal. Yeah. So and the last one was was pretty bad, you know. Me on time. The grand scan, or the grand. Um, the one me day. time. Uh yeah. I laughed my ass off. <laughs> you know, I guess you know <laughs> different strokes for different folks, but it's 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 it's. it's Movies, you gotta. If you're gonna take the the fucking role, you're gonna take. You can't really. I, you can hold Kevin Hart to it, but he, it's it's a role that he's playing. You know what I mean? Right. He's not writing these lines. I mean, of course he has. I'm I'm sure Kevin Hart has free will to change things around and, and, and kind of roll with things. Yeah. But you know they have writers. Um um and 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 also Kevin Hart. Uh, uh, he, he has so many going back to his stand up. He has so many specials compared to a guy like, for example, Bernie Mac. A lot of a lot of black people say Bernie Mac is way funnier than than Kevin Hart. But Bernie Mac only had one special. And then he had the 30 minute time that he had on Kings of Comedy. Like it's, it's a big difference when a guy is working, working, working versus a guy like Bernie Mac or versus a guy like um like uh, Eddie Murphy, who only has one or two specials, it's, it's a really a yeah. it's really a different. It's a well, different I beast. I would say too, like like Kevin Hart, and maybe he suffers from this. Is that you know he's almost like the Drake of comedy. Like he's everywhere. Like you you yeah. you really can't get away from Kevin Hart. No, you can't. He, he's in a bunch of movies. Yeah, he he does the comedy stuff. Commercials. He, he's also commercials. <laughs> he's also popping up like I mean he's very active on social media. Yeah, like he's. He's kind of in that Drake thing of I'm just everywhere. Got a podcast, yeah. The ice, the ice tub thing. Yeah, yeah. Seen a, yeah, yeah, seen yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen clips. Yeah, I've seen clips, but yeah. But I mean, in that way, like he stays super relevant, but he doesn't hit you as like fresh at this point, right? Like there's nothing new that, that he's doing. Yeah, and and I think he could suffer from that. I, I I think he's talented. I do think he's funny, but he's not everybody's cup of tea. But yeah. I think I think every comedian's that way. Yeah, every comedian's that I way. I mean, just you know, you're, again, that relatability thing that we talked about, like you know, certain lanes of jokes is like I'm gonna laugh my butt off, but like you know, somebody else will just think it's juvenile or stupid, you yeah. know, but and they'll laugh at something that I think's you know ridiculous and dull. Yeah. But I mean, I, you you can't. The reality is, you can't sustain the career he's had. Without being funny, yeah. That's what I mean, I'm is he the funniest guy ever? Probably not. Probably but not. But he, you, you're not. You don't do as much as he does without being funny for me. No way. Nah, no way. 